Our final speaker this evening is imparting taonga tuku iho through storytelling. She's done it well enough to capture the attention of the talk queen herself, Oprah Winfrey. Scholar, te reo Māori advocate and author of Aroha and a Queen in Her Own Right, a Queen Deserves a Throne. Please welcome Dr. Hinimoa Elder. Ta koto anau ki te moe ngau riri tu a ke au, titiro ki te atarau, kei he ara, te mara mai fiti ana kei he arona, kei runga ra. Piri ki te taha, piri ki te ngai o, au e e rona e. Oh, e noho ana au i te roro o tōku whare, ko pōtahi te rā. Whakarongo rua rā ku taringa ki te tai o pārengarenga, e āki ana i te tāo tō mātou waka ko kurahau pō te rā. Ka tītiro whakatiraki atu ki murimotu, hoki maharau ki tū matahina me tana mahi i o rai te iwi. E ai ki aia, te kuaka mārangaranga, ko tahi kuaka, e tau ki te tauhauna, tau atu, tau atu, tau atu. Anei te tahi kuaka e mihi ana ki a kotau. Ka noho hāneanea kotau? Ā, ka tīmata ahau. Tērā te tahi wahine ko rōna tōna ingoa. Nō te tahi pō, ka tono e ia ki te tiki wai. Ko te mārama i te pō, e tūrama ana i te arahaere ki te pūkaki. Ka tae atu a rona ki te awa e āta rere atu rā te tūpau e hia hia tiana. Ka kohia e ia te tūpau ki tana tahā. Ka tahi, ka puta mai te tahi kapua ki te rangi. I taua wā, ka ngaro, te atarau o te marama. Tā te mea, kua kapia tona kanohi e te kapua. Taro rawake, ka tāpepa a rona. A, ka whā toro toro ia i tona ringa ki te tahi rākau ngaio. E tā tata ana ki aia, ki a whaka matua ai tona tū. Ka pā mai te rika rika ki aia, ki a huri atu ia ki te marama, ka kangaia, ka whaka parahakotia. Ko hena te tahi ingoa o mua mō te marama. I te mea i kangaia ia e rona, ka tikina atu a rona e hena ki te rohe o te whānau marama. Horekau a rona e weweti i taua rākau ngaio i te taha raini, ka mauria tonutia e rona tāna tahā me te rākau hoki ki te marama. Tai noa ki tēnei wā, e noho tonu ana a rona ki tō hina whare. Ki te āta te tiro atu koe ki te marama i te pō, ka ki te koe i a rona, e puritia tonu tiana ki te rākau ngaio, he tahā hoki ki tōna uma. Ka hoki anō ki te whakatau ki mō rona, ki a mahara ki te he a rona. He whakaro nui kei rotu e nei kupu tuku iho, ko a roa a hau e kō manawa ana ki aua whakaro nui me te kura huna e whakahua hua tiana i taua whakatau ki. Ki au e rua ngā tū whakamāramatanga o te whakatau ki nei. He whakaara ara te tahi, he whakatikatika te tahi. E mea ana nā kaumātua, 
in kitea ekwe te tahi he, faka tika tika ngia, ki te kore, kei rite koe i te wahe. Ki au he momo mana ki hoki te mahi faka tika tika, ko te hoa haere o te manake, ko te aroha. Tainoa ki te nei wā, e manaki tiana a rona e hina. Ko te mea nui ki a ora tonu ngā kōrero tukuiho mō hina, mō rona, me tā hina kaha ho te ao, ao te pō. He atua hoki a hina, he mana ano tōna, he tapu ano tōna. Kei a hina te mana ki te kukume i ngā tai o tangaroa, me ngā tai hoki o hine moana, o tira, te tai tamawahine, me te tai tamatane. Hoi anō, i tōna mai a tangake, ki a mahara hoki ki te aroha o hina, ki a tātou e whakaro ana ki te he arona. I love us. Hasn't this been the most amazing night? It's wonderful. Thank you all for coming. I wanted to show you this. This is an okoro from up home in Te Aupauri. Our cousin Ted Jones drew this as a 16-year-old, fresh out of Kaita College back in 1969. He had instructions from Tāheke Nuku Mai Ngaiwi Busby and Ma Jones, his nan, and Tāheke told Ted to take their notes on bits of paper and turn them into this circular representation of Hina's monthly cycle. With the numbers revolving, unlocking the mātauranga, opening up the vastness of space and time. Hina, our beloved moon goddess, she shows us a different face each day, guiding us with her wisdom, inviting us to explore the freedom of our dreams, something we've heard a lot about tonight. Reclaiming our mātauranga is particularly potent, this matariki, or puanga for some, as we celebrate our Māori New Year as a national public holiday for the very first time. Thinking about Hina's different faces throughout her monthly orbit reminds me that it's exactly five years since my moko kawai and I were visibly joined together. I've always been fascinated by them, and as a child, I looked in wonder at pictures of our wahine with these scarifications. And I remember thinking that mine was hidden under the surface of my skin and would appear as if by magic one day. It is said, ko te mauri he mea huna i te moana. The best place to hide something is right in front of your face, or in this case, inside the skin of my face. And so it was at Matariki 2017, Tangaroa Aamua, that my own moko kauai, once obscured from view, was revealed. Kaore arikarikaku mihi ki James Webster. Like many of us, I have been intrigued to explore our okoro, our Māori lunar calendar. And so, I've written a book about it, guided by Hina's influence in my life, bringing forward Hina's abilities to foster connection and intimacy with ourselves and others, something we all need profoundly right now. So this is the book I wish I'd read when I was young. Wawata, Moon Dreaming, Daily Wisdom Guided by Hina, Our Māori Moon, a book about the freedom that dreams give us. So Hina shows us her takiro face today. Takiro, that's her name tonight. Taki often indicates many at the beginning of words, and it gives us shades of many leaves, many layers, the many ro. The word taki is also used to describe things coming into view, including the rising of stars in the sky. Takiro signals that our energies are percolating, the many aspects of takiro collecting into one, drawn powerfully together. Immediately after the pair of unforgettable poi-like nights that we've just had, Rako Nui and Rako Matohi, 
We can feel the myriad ripple effects as we change gears. A distillation is occurring. And maybe that explains the name, Takido, as Hina's dimmer switch gradually winds the light down ever so slowly. I've noticed that I can feel a bit kohanga weka at Takido, a bit all over the place. Such a, such a great term, and it comes from the untidy nature of the nests of the weka. I wonder if it has to do with the processing of the aftermath of so much energy and inspiration that flow from our Rako nights. We're working out how to prioritize the connections of our ideas. What do we embark on first? Today feels to me like the tiny rivulets of coffee when you push the plunger down, escaping from the perforations of the tiny filters. A coffee plunger haka, if you will. These little potent streams of energy are necessary for creating the concentration of the finished coffee. And as the plunger drops down, it creates that confluence necessary to make the perfect drink. It's the beginning of a period of the month to be aware of how we react when energy is compressing, fusing, becoming full-bodied, and then to learn from these responses. Surrendering to Hina's takiro music helps our wawata, our dreams, come into view. Our M9 wahine have fittingly stirred our emotions tonight. Let that turbulence find its final common pathway, bringing us all together under Hina's aroha tonight. Kia hohi mahara, ki te aroha o Hina, kia tato. Po marie.